Hey man, thank you so much, so, so much for your really, really kind words. Could you do me a favor then and in Apple Podcasts, leave a review if you really enjoyed it that much. That would really help us to spread the message of growth even further. And yeah, that's really it. (laughs) I really appreciate it, my man. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys, in addition to being my buddy Lawrence's birth date, 818-2018, what's so cool is 818, that's like, if you look at the one, like it's a mirror, and the eight's looking at the eight, it's like looking at itself. And what's interesting, 2018, two, we got two eights. Well, and there's 2018, there's... 18, there's 8. Got another infinity in there. We're going to be meeting at Union Station tonight, 8.05 p.m. with the Wizard of L.A. We're going to be going out there for another Wizard Walk. Who knows who is going to be showing up? It's always a surprise. You never know. I wasn't able to make it last time. I had a Yachtly Crew show. However, I am free to be a part of the magic tonight. Can't wait to see how this evolves. So, why don't you join us out there? 8.05 p.m. We'll be, we'll be meeting at Union Station. And then we'll be getting on the subways, going around, going around town, causing, causing mirth and mayhem. Good mirth and good mayhem. So, I don't know if, if you'll hear this by the time the wizard walk starts or if you'll hear this whole thing after it starts either way you know either it will be happening or it happened so I hope to see you there or I hope to see you at the next one or if I did see it at this one I'm sure we had a fun time more on this later Ladies and gentlemen, we are now exiting the subway on our way up to Union Station to meet with the Wizard of L.A. I'm also thinking Lumi will be there, so we'll be Reverend Mark, and who knows who who else will show up today for today's Wizard Walk. I've put the invitation out to many people. I believe the Wizard of L.A. also has. So we shall see. We shall see how it, uh, how it all evolves and if, if others uh, join in the madness. This time around, I didn't bring my cape as per usual. So um, I have a really interesting green cowboy hat that blinks so that will be fun I'm also wearing the Stony Shores glasses so I have a little bit of uh, Yachtly Crew integrated into today's performance I also have some Yachtly Crew cards with me I'm carrying a I got a backpack so that way you know what I, I am so tempted I think I'm gonna I'm going to have to go into this, I'm going to have to go into this Starbucks and get a coffee. As much as I don't want to, as much as I don't want to. You know, I wonder if Wetzel's Pretzels has coffee. Hmm. All right, all right, we're going to go get some coffee. That's all there is to it. We're just going to have to. I'll be back with uh, more of this later. Okay, folks, we are back. We are back. We are back on our way to the Wizard of L.A. with coffee in hand. 
and uh, the the glorious music played inside sounded like Radiohead to, or it sounded like Tom York to me playing uh, playing uh, like Bossa Nova. It sounded like that to me. I'm wondering if these these guys are waiting outside in the same spot like they were last time. That would not surprise me if they were. Last time was in the daytime. That lady was breathing hard. All right, so let's see. Let's see if these guys will be outside again. There's a guy out here asking for uh, dollars. You know, in the good old days, the homeless would ask for, um, do you got a few cents? You know, do you have a few cents? Do you have some spare change? Now they're asking for dollars. Whole dollars. Dollars and dollars. Oh boy, there it is. I see Lumi right now. Do you hear that? Do you hear that in the distance? Oh yeah, you can hear that sweet ceremonial flute out there in the distance. We have Lumi here dancing in the foreground. And of course, uh, Reverend Mark back there playing his uh, ceremonial flute. We've got the wizard right there with the tip jar, blinking lights on his hat. Dig the sounds of Reverend Mark. Hey, brother, it's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Here, grab. You got one mic? Here. Do the exchange, ready? Do the exchange. Do the exchange. Oh, there you go. Just rub my hand. That's, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, you are hearing some dynamic sensations. 
vibrations, wavicles, frequencies, etc. and etc. Reverend Mark is here serenading the audiences with his magic, magical, magical flutes. I love how you say Reverend Mark. Yes. It's the best, best voice to say it. He, hey, wait, I've heard your voice on the radio before. Wait a minute. You sound familiar. <laughs> You're that one guy! He is, in, uh, he is, in fact, ordained by the Wizard of L.A. Uh, yes, I, I actually was ordained by the Wizard of L.A., as well as a few other trickster cats, but he's my favorite ordained. Was, was there a bonfire uh, involved? Uh, I would like to tell you, but you'd have to be initiated in it, and then you can tell the rest of your viewers. The uh, wonderful yeah, things good. that involve... Um, is, are, are, there, are there any of the good stuff over there? I'm trying to make a joke out of it here. I, I do apologize for uh, uh, f um, 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 fumbling my improvisational skills, but I, I, I guarantee you they're, they're very entertaining. Well, that's, that's the, I think, the mark of a true shaman. He the mostly mark. fumbles like, and you see mumbles. what you did that's there? Right. Yeah. That's right. The mark. That's right. Yeah. With a capital C. With a capital C. I like that. Uh, I think all, all the mark of a good uh, shaman is the fumbles and the jumbles and the, uh, the uh, well, you know, Alan Watts talks about it. it's just like jazz. It's just a bunch of... Bleep, 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 bleep. Let's play a little trick on the wizard, shall we? Mm -hmm. Watch this. You know, just All you're going to do is follow us and, oh, yeah. uh, and have a little bit of a... A little bit of a little bit of a fun with the wizard. Oh yes. yes. No, but watch this. We're going to he's gonna follow us outside. Yes. Very well. I'll have a PayPal at the Wizard of LA if okay. you want to donate. Okay. And eventually we'll have these giant Venmo cards and everything for people to scan. I have a podcast. Nice. Do you really? It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. How do I find it? Do you just go to find the Wizard of LA. Go ahead, get, look me up right now. Get get my Facebook, like my page right now. This, by the way, we're honored with Inspirato Projecto is here, yeah. which also has a podcast. We got the podcast rocking and rolling. An really? award, uh, yeah. did it win yet? Uh, it, did not, it did not win, at least not in this dimension. It's You know what, it's winning in many other dimensions, had, and there's many awards okay. left to win. Had the at-home listeners been able to see the tabby boots on your feet, they, they would have, it would have won the best arts podcast, though. You know what I think? And there's, I can find your podcast it, it's from stealth. there? That, would that have worked? And you have yeah. a podcast oh, yeah. as well? Oh, yes. How do I find it? Inspirado. On this? Projecto. On Facebook? Oh, yeah, I'm on Facebook. You can Facebook. find him also, everywhere. He's blowing up. Also, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Look. Oh, Inspirado, P-R-O-J-E-C. Ooh, there it is. Take Inspirado the time Projecto to do a plug right here. There it's it is. a good time to do a plug. Inspirado Projecto uh, like podcast. That. Oh, look at that. Yes. And it's Prada Projecto Radio, ADO, ADO, on K Chung, 1630 AM. The first and third, actually this Monday from 1 o'clock to 2 p.m., it'll be in Chinatown. Nice. Yeah, so Fair if you're in Chinatown, you can hear it on the radio, Dell. Maybe I'll come down to Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you I would so know much. our Wizard Walks, too. Oh, I, yeah, you ought to come by so for the Wizard Walks. So you go to uh, at the Wizard of LA 93 on Facebook is the actual oh, yes. The Wizard of LA Facebook page. That's the one you want. Look for the gent in the top hat. Maybe at this time, at the time of this recording, I could be in another alien form for the next That's one. That's true. You never know. And uh, look for Woke Minds with the Wizard of L.A. if you're into that kind of thing. We're just downloading like a whole bunch of... I love it. She's just getting all this cosmic I information. Absolutely. I love it. I don't this is so bit. great that you're typing it in. Absolutely. Oh, my God. And we have the evidence right here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. It. Thank you. All you right. take Thanks care. Good night. So uh, good to see you. Just in time for a hug from <laughs> this guy. Hello, hello, I, uh, listeners as well. I have Our some. Uh, let's see. So I didn't You're have any masks fire. this time. Did you? I brought. However, you your masks. I do have. Okay, so you we're gonna. Sh fun. I'm gonna show you pieces. Uh, pieces. You have the legendary store clue. I don't. I don't. I, I've been doing this deep clean in my house. Right, so I got a, a, a new, an extra sort of uh, shape shifting sort of costume of sorts. And look at this. Check this out. To go along with your blink. To, to go to, along with the blinking on, on there. Look at this. Check this out. Hi. This hat. Uh -huh. This hat. Blink. Oh. Cosmic Cowboy. Oh, yeah. I had this for, uh, I had this for Halloween uh, last, last year. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I had just like a bunch of sparkly stuff. And so I just called myself the Rhinestone Cowboy. Oh, that's beautiful. So I walked around like that. Oh. And look at this, I brought this pirate hat, pirate's hat in case anyone wants to join in. Excuse me. Hello. Look at this. Hello, how are you guys doing this evening? Look at that. Hi. Pirate's hat in case anyone wants to utilize it. Uh -huh. 
perform. I think I had this conversation with you before. Uh, you, we talked about the dancing and the other things. Uh -huh. and we're just gathering and then we're going. Okay, so, so keep dancing, so let him know that and stuff like that, okay? I can do an off notes. Not in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. But he's saying off me, notes. It's he's joking. Yeah. All right, thank it's you. notes thank in between that matter most anyway. Thank you guys. So now what was that? They don't. They don't want. They don't want merriment taking place. You know, uh, it's funny how these things work because yeah. uh, I can't say anything wrong about it because yeah. I surf the universe yeah. and I just this is what it is. It's yeah. like we're here. Yeah. And I think that. Um, oh, oh, oh! I think he wants to we, go out there. We take it. Yeah. Let's go out and go into the courtyard for a moment. And uh, of the scenic Los Angeles Union Station. So which, it, uh, it is quite interesting. <laughs> so we have this Venn diagram going on where we're creating our own sort of reality experience. And yet we also get the other, the other paradigm that um, finds its way to sort of, um, I don't know. It's, it's interesting, the interplay between the two, right? Right, because when you're talking about any reality paradigm, Basically, you're just talking about a structure of the grid that can support itself. Right. That's it. So once you have enough steam behind that, mm -hmm. it's living. It exists. Mm, right, right, right. So when you have multiple paradigms yes. in proximity to each other, and ultimately they're stacked one on top of the other oh, anyway. yes, 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 yes. You have a different... Um, attitude now about how that's done. Yes. I think the download is that you created yourself a new ah, right. paradigm. Right now. Right now you created it. Yeah. Because you acknowledged uh, your it's superior nature. Oh. <laughs> that you mm -hmm. basically have the ability to create it. You acknowledge that. So, if you looked at it in the regards of something like a game, like yeah. let's take a, a type of uh, a strategy game where you have to overtake a territory and then it converts into your territory. Right. At the point that you can create a superior force to hold the space... The space is yours. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the point that you recognize yourself as a divine sovereign being, if you so choose to do that, then you realize you've been doing it the whole time. So there's no one to blame for your situation other than you, mm -hmm. if you want to blame at all. Instead, you can look at it as a functioning set of tools that you can build with. Right. So how do you want to build that paradigm at that point in time? How do you want to build it? And once you can free yourself from blaming others, mm -hmm. from putting your creative generative genius in the hands of others, once you can stop seeing it through that paradigm and take your own power back, there's no one to blame anymore. It's all about Okay, what do I want to make today? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how do I want to make that? And how do I track what's happening as a result of that creation and that making? Because I'm getting the real-time feedback based on this experience of what I'm observing in what? A body? Is that your paradigm? I can't say that it is my paradigm. Do I have a body? I have many bodies. Where does my body begin and end? If time's not here, where is my body? Because my body has been born and died and went to the earth and then grown through the flowers and been eaten and grown into the trees and then all over again the circle of life. Though it doesn't matter because it's all silly putty. So at that point, if it's now and you're only going to limit yourself with whatever structure you have, because let's face it, games exist, they have rules, they have structure for the sake of having structure. Though at any point in time, if you 
are unskillful, you know it's yours. It's yours to behold. Skillful mastery is yours as well. Self-mastery in the body, in the mind, in the heart. Bringing them all together, conjunction. Creating that balanced form, that triad, that mind, heart, body. Bringing it together in such a way that you have congruence. That's what that's called. It's congruent when it's all lined up. Everything is working together. Then there's no struggle in life. There's no struggle at that point. You have your answers and everything lines up and it's a beautiful place when you see it. You choose to see it. You gotta free yourself from the old scripts though because your creative power is so strong that if you come to believe that habits are in some state of permanence, you could acquire that habit permanently. Or as permanently as you think you can. Because impermanence is probably the only thing that you can count on. You gotta be able to shake the etch-a-sketch so oh, you can yeah. make a new drawing every time. <laughs> very true, very true. Speaking of... Shake the etch-a-sketch. I think it's time to shake our etch a sketch. Who's ready to ride the train? <laughs> oh, sweet Lumi, look it, look it. <laughs> first, you gotta down the cuff. I love your oh, hat, yeah. it's so awesome. Hey, thank you, thank you. <laughs> get, get up, get up, cow, cosmic, cosmic cowboys, cowboys and cosmic cowgirls, get up. Nice. Down ready to what, ride. What, what uh, constellation is a horse? Oh, uh, is it Horus? Is there, a horse, is there a horse? Oh, Comet, that's good. I'm not sure. It's not a constellation. It's horrible. Seems like there should it's be a, a horse phenomenal. constellation. There's like, well, Capricorn is kind of a horse constellation. Some guy. Oh, that's true. Some dude in the north. Giddy up, Capricorn. Time to go for options. a cosmic journey so down the Milky Way. We walk through, like, Chinatown Milky Way Trail. We never and we're going sure. to uh, Pershing Square next. Okay. Come on, this way. <laughs> I'm so glad you two misfits could make it down for this uh, another one of these extraordinary events you as well I just love it so uh, yes then there was Yachtly Crew yes making their own little paradigm of reality I noticed a few things oh my uh, goodness recently the buzz about the town that Looks like uh, oh yeah ships coming in. Oh it's my gosh! Sail, or one or both of it is. Other. It is. It is doing both. It's uh, the pendulum is is moving in all directions with that one. It's crazy to see uh, the the similar faces, the similar the similar. Oh yeah. Take a picture. Come on. This fucking weird what, you're what on, you, uh, fucking pyramid? You're on Inspirato Projecto podcast right now, by the way. Giddy up, giddy up. Cosmic cowboys and cosmic cowgirls, giddy up. Giddy up. Rump a pum pum. Time to ride down that Milky Way trail. <laughs> Donkeys, I've been surfing and bucking on this Bronco <laughs> through this nebula for so long. <laughs> on this nebula. I just want to get through nine seconds. <laughs> Fight, fighting off the Ursa Majors and Ursa Minors. Oh, I got Ursas, Ursulas. <laughs> Ooh, what would you say? How could you sum this up in one concept? Infinite being, having a God experience. Mm. Or the smartest village idiot. Ooh. One true God? Well, There's the one only that's... only one, right? I watched Highlander. Is he a Highlander? God. <laughs> God, I just said it. He is. He is a Highlander. Yeah. Nice. We're out on a wizard walk. Uh -huh. You're more than welcome If you don't have a us. train to catch, you can join us. We catch fairies or wizards or what? Oh, yeah. Well, we bring them along with us. You'll I mean, see. That's the idea, to gather all the wizards and fairies and saints and uh, beautiful people that want to gallivant. And oh, yeah cavort and integrate their shadows and become fully whole beings by recognizing. See, they did this back in the day. Um, you know, it had a lot of different names and the people that did it had different names too. 
Though basically what they were doing was they were using music and play and theater in order to access the deeper levels of inner standing. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's deep. That is deep. Inner standing. To know yourself, you know? Right. Who can tell you better than you? That's something I'm going to contemplate. You, you just dove into the stream of consciousness. How was it? I give it a 9.9. Me too. Me too. Very small splash. Did you ever try the triple Lindy? Always. Every time. Yeah. It's an incredible dive. It's always worth it. Yeah. Every time. Every right time. On, every time. Well, we got a train to catch. All right. Let's do. Uh-oh. We might be on the same train. Train Ultimately, of thought, baby. Train of all? thought. I love how this random dude is just kind of following along. It's like he's just magnetized <laughs> to it. You know, you know it's yeah, great. It's, People, when they're magnetized to it, they, they got to just keep following, see where it goes, you know? It's, it's really something to see. Uh, and then I have to track that to say, okay, well, well, what is the resonance <laughs> that's occurring? Yeah, oh, yeah. Because you're getting a real-time map update of oh, your yeah. internal state. Oh yeah. As you walk. Oh yeah. Yes. So maybe. We just... Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh my God. This is perfect. Look at that. The rainbow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Wizard. Oh, I can go into it. Too. <laughs> yeah. The I'm wizard of LA long. right there. Everybody. The more the merrier. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look at that. You got a little cat here. Yeah. Cosmic oh, kitten. So the I cosmic kitten. Well. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a little magic wand for yourself. It's a magic wand, don't lose it. That'll glow. That'll glow. Oh, yeah. Cosmic cowboy. I really am digging this. Giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> it's like. Uh... <laughs> Giddy up on a cosmic train. <laughs> It's like space macho man Randy Savage. If you could see what Ooh, that looks yeah. like. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's like after you went and toured the universe <laughs> with Bill and Ted, then you came back. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. We got more smiles. See, this is the part that's great. Like, it, you, you know, uh, podcast family. Oh, yeah. See, we're walking through to kind of paint you the visual picture. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. Walking through the station. And, of course, we have uh, Lumi Lumi. Oh, yeah. And Reverend Mark and uh, myself and, of course, uh, Kurt. We're walking through here. And with Lumi dancing around. Oh, yeah. And we're just staging up right now. Oh, yeah. This. So with Lumi uh, moving around, you see the smiles on these people's faces. They come out. They've yeah. got photos. They oh, come yeah. and engage. Now, we just did a, uh, an impromptu meditation lesson oh, back yeah. there. Oh, yeah. And uh, Oh, yeah. I say impromptu, whatever that means. It's like everything's really not a surprise. Right, right. Right. Level, right. So, uh, and it's just one way to be. It's just a now way to be yeah so uh at the point that you well, can scale up the activity yeah 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 well i was gonna say to add on to what you just said when you're in the now and you're looking in the mirror you've won you're looking at the mirror right the mirror image of now is one how cool is that mm -hmm. and then when we also spell that o-n-e wowzers mm -hmm. now isn't that interesting it's it's like becoming one no, we're going somewhere new. Where are we going? We're going to go downstairs this way. Oh, downstairs. Downstairs to the train. To the other train. New sights, new scenery. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you are, of course, uh, witnessing his story right now. You're, of course, witnessing history as it's unfolding, as it's purely unfolding, wildly, maniacally, etc., and so forth. You know what's so interesting is that I, uh, I got this some time ago. This is a, a rainbow moonstone. Now, how interesting was that? With that, that little girl with the shirt was a rainbow. This is a rainbow moonstone. Now, rainbow moonstones are known for uh, synchronicities. Mm. And how cool is that? Little rainbow girl walks up to uh, Lumi over there. It's a beautiful one. Too. 
synchronicities. I do believe uh, that might be some of our bread and butter. Mm -hmm. those, uh, synchronicities. Oh yeah. So you brought this up. Oh it's yeah. Interesting because uh, so good. You can basically carry it's like a little any magic kind wand magnetizer with you. Oh yeah. Look at this. I brought this rainbow moonstone with us. This this is good for synchronicities. Ah. So I figured we might as well uh, utilize it to. Uh, too bad you no longer. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> too bad you no longer have it. I thought it was so cool because that little girl came up with the, with the rainbow shirt on. Just adding credence, uh, clearly, and in, in, a, in a way, sort of a revival. Oh, are we, which way are we? We're going this way. Oh, we're... Come sail away, this uh, wait, wait. <laughs> smells like, smells like plastic is burning. Right? Doesn't it? Did you smell that? Like, it's like right here. It's here the bum, bum, bum. I'm glad you fit. I saw, I noticed that you fixed Lumi, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long did it take to, to fix that? It was uh, a couple of days. It, it was better. I love how they glow. Than oh, I yeah. Orchestrating. Orchestrating. Oh, brilliant. Nice. So brilliant. I love that Lumi is giving away little little glow sticks to the kids. I think that is so fantastic. And the kids at heart. Oh my gosh. And the kids at heart for sure. This is true education at its finest. It's a precipitation. We're precipitating among this populace. You just gotta hold your paradigm long enough. Mm -hmm. Or let go of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good way of putting it. Let go of it. That's a good way. Yeah. Because then everything becomes your paradigm in a sense. You let go of what that paradigm was. Oh, yeah. Gotta go through that one. Now, come through that one. Oh, yeah. Look it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Lumi just uh, got through the, the turnstile, <laughs> the widest turnstile. Are you calling me fat? Oh, just slightly obtuse. Here's a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a, a trickster, uh, uh, sort of a, well, what do I call a trickster? Medicine men, all ah, tricksters. Ooh, yes. Um, synchronicity right there. Ooh. How are we going to get through? The easiest way. Someone just came by and all of a sudden oh, helped us. God, I love that. Just, just oh my like God, that. that's brilliant. Uh -huh. That was fantastic. Trying to figure out the way through and all of a sudden just Oh my was gosh. There. Bam, right away. You're receptive enough to receive it. Oh my God! And there it was. Ooh, and then when you add that extra beautiful bonus of recognizing its existence, giving it that high five, now it's like, yep, okay, well you like that one? Wait till, wait till you see what I cook up next. Exactly. Right. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see what that's gonna be. It's, it's almost like sort of playing with existence. Yeah. Always, or playing with it, it, it as though it's a sort of a higher power. But man, like, all of us are that higher power. I just We're love the fact that you're it. you're you're saying that right now. These are some of the biggest things that I love talking about. Um, both on the podcast and the radio show, just just in general, that idea of it is a playfulness. It is the playfulness with that higher mind, with that you know, every mind, so to speak. I've, 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 really, I, I didn't know that you ever talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that you ever <laughs> talked about this. I talked about this. I had no idea. A little bit of a trickster. No, but, but absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's exactly that. Like, and that's one of the really cool things about these types of walks is the synchronistic actions of that. Yes. Gratitude, fear, and then people overcoming. Like this gentleman just kind of standing in the middle, just kind of wondering what we're doing. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, the, yes. The just that. Oh yes, yes, yes. That wonderful curiosity, right? Yes. That what the wonderment that 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 evolves from from the from the current situation. It's so interesting because it's like it's like a cartoon hopped out of your television, and now you're like, okay, what do we do with this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you're still the observer, still entertained <laughs> by the by it, applauding oh, yes. the entire time. Yes, oh, more, yeah. more, more, oh, give yes. me more. Oh my God. You found Einstein? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's traveled through time. Tesla showed him how. Ooh. It's a joke, of course. Was, well, 
I'm, I immediately comes to mind is the Philadelphia experiment. Right? Didn't he help out with that? Did Nikolai Tesla have something to do with that? I think he did. He was uh, Michael Perret's acting coach. Michael oh. Bolton's acting coach? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we'll have a little spot over here in the corner, right? He really was. In a parallel universe, perhaps. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lumi. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's it. I'm so glad that the subways have this thing made into them because then it's a perfect spot. It's like they, they knew that one day Lumi would exist. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Synchronistic action here of, yeah, uh, of the universe. Oh, yes. What do you think about time travel? Did you ever experience it firsthandedly? Time travel? Time travel? Yeah, I, I travel really every day. <laughs> yeah, time, <laughs> time travel every day. Yeah. I love it. That's a good answer. That is a really good answer. I'll accept it. Oh, my God. That's brilliant. That's yeah. the most perfect answer I think one could get. Where do you want to time travel to? What? Next. Tomorrow? That's where we're going. <laughs> we're going to tomorrow. Does it ever come? Tomorrow. James Bond. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Just tomorrow ever come. <laughs> it does sound like Maybe a good James Bond opening. Maybe the yeah. Next day. Oh, yeah. Sh Sheena Easton singing it, or perhaps? Maybe tomorrow will be next. <laughs> If tomorrow isn't tomorrow, maybe it'll be the next day. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that one. It's like free beer tomorrow. When do you ever it's get it? Free beer. That's true. That's true. It's free beer. That's true. <laughs> what, where do you it, want to time it, travel? It, it, it's nice when you get when you get your car and go different places. You mm. know, but when you using the train, the bus, can the you castle, smell? Can you smell? Yes. Uh, can you smell with the train? You should know where now. It's fermenting urine. Uh. Because it's a, a lot of problems. Do you want a car? Yeah. When, when you travel, you know, and when you don't have no, no travel to go, and you using this, you know, it's a hassle. It's a. Oh, traveling you on the train is you, a hassle? You, 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 you should not go out at all. If you don't have no, your own car and your own way to go. Where would you go with a car? Oh! You know, when I used to drive, I got five sisters. I got a sister in Georgia, I got a sister in North Carolina, I got a sister in Philadelphia. So I go all over the place. Experiment. Yeah, I go all over the place. And when I go, and I see one of the sisters, they say, oh, the refrigerator is a lot of food. When you open the refrigerator, the only thing you find is vegetables. So you don't eat vegetables all day, but only her, not me. <laughs> you know? But you have to go and see your sister. And, and sometimes they say, oh, I have to talk to my husband. If you can come, forget it. <laughs> you know, you, you want to go. They gotta put out a good you know, spread. You, you for that. go yeah. and visit them and go out. You know, like make better meals and then maybe you get a brotherly visit more often. Yeah, right. Put put the. He doesn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> you know, his face tells us everything. We need <laughs> you know, if they had carne, it would be different. You, yeah. you see, the one, the one they run the house is the women, not the men. Mm. The, the the house is for the women. It's all the time, in, in all, in all ages, in all ages, and everything. You know, when you're talking to your wife, you know, you don't talk, you don't talk about the house. The house, she knows, she is her, mm. and she runs the house. If you, don't, if you let her in run you, you lose. Forget it. What if, what if all the men went on strike? Huh? What do you think? If they all the strike? men, the husbands. If they went on strike and said... No, listen, you see, no. the, the husband is all... We all were going out to get the money to bring the house. And the house. Oh, no. It doesn't matter how. Oh, no. it's just sometimes it she doesn't care how you get it, the long you can run the house with the money. Yeah. And we no, you don't have no time to stay in the house yeah, all day. Out. You have to go huh? selling things, uh, uh, talking to somebody, uh, some kind of business. Oh, the 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 the
Well. Well. We are going to uh, conclude with this later. I'm not still going, and I don't really fucking know because I'm still going. With the ball seeing now, yeah, we see ball going. All I want to know is who the fuck is blowing up, going. All I want to know is can I get the da 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 ba da ba ba ba, and I'm loving it. <laughs> and I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving it. And I'm loving it. I can keep going just on and on, but I ain't got no teeth in my mouth, so I'm slow. Gotta talk, put my lips really fucking low. I don't really fucking know, cause I'm about to smoke some blow. Hey, I say get that drove, I say get it and go. And all I wanna know is how we fucking get it and roll. Like, who got the drove? I got the switch, can we roll? I got the switch, can we roll? But hey. we ain't got no drove, so I. Get it and go. Got it. Go. When all I want to know is can we pop it and roll? Like, hey, hey, hey y'all. I said, hey, hey y'all. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. With that little voice. Come on. Tifo. Tifo. He's about to blow. Tifo. Tifo. You about to blow.
off me and I don't accept you. I don't really give a fuck for you. We can make it do what it do. We offer, we own, we offer, we corn, and I don't give a fuck. I'm children of the corn. And what you're really talking about, yeah, we scorn, cause all I fucking know is, yeah, yeah, we all like. Alright, what else can we do? I don't know. <laughs> we could switch it, flip it, rock it on down, and all I wanna know is can we bring it on down? Cause we could flip it, switch it, rock it on down, and all I wanna know is who the fuck I'm about to get down? Cause we could switch it, flip it, bring it on down, and all I wanna know is who the fuck I'm about to get down? Cause we could flip it, flip it, and bring it on down, and all I wanna know is who the fuck I'm about to go down. Who I'm about to go down. Cause my skin real brown. And my feet real black. And I'm not all that. But I like that crack And those bag of chips And I'm chipped as lit And my bitch is click What the fuck you really talking about I merely rock on it And I just merely rock on the block All C and I Yeah, what's up? I don't really give a fuck on the west side We just out here motherfucking fucking no reply I am chilling with the all C and I Out here in 7th Street, the west side Got the conjure up the motherfucking spirit ride. I don't really fucking know because I'm so full of light. I'm so full of light, I don't really see the darkness. And all I wanna know is who to really, really fuck this. And I don't really give a fuck if you don't fucking feel it. Because you see it, you wanna be it. <laughs> Got the glow, it's I'm life, it's it. life, you know what I'm talking I'm about. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, oh yeah, I'm loving it, oh, mm. did you loving it, oh yeah, I'm loving mm. it, bum, bum, bum. Loving it, cookie yeah. my stuff in the ammo. Yeah, you rocking it. Yeah. I see your little shirt. Yeah, you popping it. Poppin now it. I'm taking it back because you ain't copping it. Loving it. You ain't loving it. Loving it. It's your life. Are you showing Are it? You showing it? Yellow cab. Yeah, you going Are it? You <laughs> because we glowing, bitch. As they walk by, as they walk by, tell me how you know you're they look at us. Tell them how your life with the one and I But it's okay It's alright I had a stressful day But this right here Wash it away for me. Don't you just love the universe that brings you all together? I don't really fucking know all these really dope brothers. I just came out on the street trying to get my fucking smoke on. Now I'm fucking motherfucking, yeah, we go strong. I came out here just to get a smoke on. But now we chilling, now we so on. I just came to get my smoke on. Chilling with my brothers, yeah, we fucking so on. All seen I, and I don't really see. How I'm so blind, and I ain't gotta see. I got my third eye, I got that fucking weed. I need some fucking trees, I'm on the fucking leave. Where the weed at? Where the weed at? Where is your soul? Where the weed at? Who you listening to? Where the weed at? When inside? Hey, where the weed at? You found the clue. Where the weed at? It ain't the earth, that's really true, mm -hmm. Where do we it is the place, Where do we you are the glue, Where do we so stick together, intend the weather, Where do we see a miracle inside of you, you know it's true, Where do we that? 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 
ba -na 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 -na. We got the light in us. We just shining. The light on us. Hey, we just shining. We got the light in us. We just shining because the light's on us. Hey. I said in God we trust. I said, or is it dollar we trust? Hey. I said, in God we trust. But I said, I need the dollar we must. I said, in God we trust. But you know, that dollar we must. So is it God that I trust? But I don't really know because the dollar just busts. I'm busting on my teeth with well, these 20s on my body. I don't really fucking know because I'm always fucking wallet. I don't fucking know because I don't like DJ Khaled. Hey, 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 hey. God is a source. That knowledge is a resource. Hey, hey, but you know that the God is the resource. It's the ultimate source. Now, is God the ultimate source or is it us? But yeah, I don't yeah, really yeah, know yeah. because that dollar I trust. But the all I want to know is source. <laughs> I'm just saying, they say that we in the rain, we remain in the image of what we rain. Hmm. We remain in the image of rain, but that's God cares. So shall we remain in pain or keep going all of my brain? I'm so fucking flow, I'm so insane. I don't fucking know, I need that dollar right, man. What the fuck you really talking about? I'm playing. I said, he built us up his shoulders. Hmm. Chilling on his shoulders. He built us up as soldiers. Is he chilling on our shoulders? I got the devil and my God in my right hand. I don't fucking know, I need a flight plan. Should I take off my stage because I'm fight I don't fucking know, I'm Buzz Lightyear. Hey, hey, when if God was a broke millionaire, what would you say to him? In every dollar that you knew him, what was it that we found when we looked right through him? Bum, bum, bum. Look right through him or look into her. I don't really know because I call God or her. We say destiny is your destined to be. Are we all just destiny's child? Woo wee! Or do we call the God the me? Or is it the I, the one I, the one eyed man in the king of the blind? You know what I'm saying in the world every time. You see it in a boy or a girl. What pronoun you using? Tell me about it. I'm all the cosmos. I ain't got to shout about it. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. God is in the cosmos. I call God the girl. I call God the girl. God is in the cosmos. God's the girl. I call God. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so, like a it's a good side effect. I mean, it's like a bonus, but yeah. like it's not. It shouldn't be the oh, core yeah. reason. Oh, no, yeah, the motivation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I we read it to you. Guys. I know. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh my god. Oh, you're so yeah. what, what do you like to write about? I can tell. I do po um, so I just wrote um, a poetry book that oh, I just so, put out. Oh, so um, so Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So I've been working put on... it out there. I know, yeah. So What's I, the name of your poetry oh, book? So it's yeah. called um, The Cloud That Fell From the Sky. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're on my podcast right now, by the way. Oh, okay. Nice. I thought I would record... I figured you had some wonderful oh, information perfect. you'd like to share. Uh, yeah. It's called so it's called The Cloud That Fell From the Sky? Yes, it is. And if you go on to Tigre Fu... Art, T I G R E F O U A R T. You can see um, some examples of the poetry, or you can go to the website, T I G R E F O U dot com, and check it out. It's out That's there. Great. Yeah. That's great. That's Now, did you, how did you self publish it? Did you did I put it through? I self published it. Yeah, I self published it, um, and it was a crazy experience. It took three years to get done. Um, all the um, basically the the binding is all um, hand sewn. Wow! So it took a, it took quite a quite a bit of time. But I wrote the poetry, and actually my niece wrote the poetry also, and he did photographic interpretations of the poems. That's cool. Yeah, so I'm super super excited to uh, get it out there. And who knows? Uh, maybe one person will read it and like it. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> what places are you getting it out to? Are you I, I actually have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just like, I just have a website and it's there and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, you know. Exploration. Exploration. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> That's yeah. great. Yeah, How long did it take for you to write the poetry? Uh, it was like a span of, oh my gosh, I would say that it's been a span of like a couple years. Um, so anything from, I, I, I went on this... I feel like whenever I write, it's really motivated by, you know, like, a devastating experience, of course. That oh, makes gotcha, the best, gotcha. the, the best kind of writing, I think. Just something that's very emotional and personal and touches the heart, you know? So... How many pages is it? 152. Um, 152. And here, I'm going to show you it so yeah. we can kind of see. Oh, we're here! Oh, that's your people. That's you all. Yeah. Uh, hold Uh-oh. on a second. Steve, do you want to go get our table really quickly? I just want to show. Yeah. Okay, so it's, this one is one, and I'll read the I'll read the poem to you. It's called "Hoping Soul Floats," and it says, "Today I feel like I'm drowning in a sea, and I don't know which way to go, so I can breathe. So I'll just close my eyes and hope." Soul floats. That's great. Thank you. That is really cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> did you say that you did music as well? He does music. Um, I don't Have you put any of your poetry to his music? Um, no, but let me... That would be great, even if you just did spoken word and he put music yeah, behind it, that would be pretty cool. Be like an audio book, but something completely different yeah, than anybody would ever expect to hear. that's a really good idea. I think like at some point, um, um, if we end up in L.A. with a gallery, like a gallery showing, we're going to contact you, you know, um, and just let you know. Because I know that yeah. we're actually... Please. Doing, we're actually doing the fourth book is going to be an erotic book so I wrote a bunch of erotic poetry and so it'll be kind of like pictures like show you it's the fast food culture I know a guy yeah, yeah. He it's the uh, just make a hamburger the same way every time right? yeah it's all don't <laughs> I have a friend who paints types and he have been painting painting types for 15 so the the photos are going to be like this. So oh nice. Yeah, we doing that. So it was really interesting when I was writing the poems. I actually was writing it from the point of view, of, like as like a man, or maybe like just like basically the receiver would be like a woman. So whether you're a man or a woman, so that's just like it was, it was kind of like really interesting to do yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So the photos are like photos like that are going to accompany your your poetry. Yeah, it'll accompany. That's cool. Yeah, so, um, but we would love for you to be there. Oh, no, we're oh, yeah. Well, these two, oh, these two. All right, there's so Hey, to pleasure you. meeting you. Oh, it doesn't touch. Yes, yes. yes. I love this. I love this. Yes. It's amazing. Hey, pleasure meeting you, man. Oh, Enjoy night. your food, man. Bye -bye. Pleasure meeting you guys. Keep in touch. Come to a wizard walk. We'd love to have you. Come out on the yes, street with yes. us. Come ride the train. Yeah. Thank you for the We like you. I appreciate it. It's good. We like it. Great. By by a lot, I think, and it is good. I think uh, tonight was uh, was interesting for a number of reasons. That uh, it's be interesting if you can pick any of this up. I'm gonna be very interested to see if you can pick any of this up with all the background noise. I mean, can't wait to understand. Can't wait to uh, test that mic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know we're testing out the uh, the high tech Inspirato Projecto oh, yeah. audio rig. These look great. They almost look like yarn or something. Strings, strings of light. What the heck? We're it's, yeah. We're looking at some very crazy light light effects here. Stretches. Sometimes it looks like yarn, sometimes it looks like little tiny organisms in the body. Sometimes it looks like the lights have a mind of their own. Oh, jeez. What the hell? That's nuts! Mycelium migration. <laughs> I saw that. Is that what it's like, called? Holy fuck. It's when you got wiggly lines, you've got oh something my God. Uh, cosmic happening. Yeah. Whoa. That was. Uh, that was. I was. I was at the Rio looking at the palms, and I'm like, how can I do something great out of this? And bam, palms. Nice. I haven't seen that. It's awesome. What'd you do? Did you just shake it a tiny little bit? Oh, actually, I, I, you open the lens up all the way, and you just kind of move, play with the, uh, the telephoto. Like full aperture. Oh. Uh, 
Those look like ghosts in the hallway. Yeah, oh, God! What the heck? Oh, wow. That like they were crazy. climbing up the walls. Yeah. It made, it made me think of a... All this, all this I'm adding to the Getty. Oh my god, what is that thing? Oh my god! And this is, this is basically what got me uh, into the Getty. At the Getty Center? Yeah, this is what, this is what got my art accepted to the Getty Art. Just this stuff. That, this, this stuff and... Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Yeah, it's like... Like the shapes of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've never been there, but I've seen it in pictures. It's I haven't either. Me too. <laughs> I haven't either. Me too. Where is this at? Oh, oh it's so badass. It's right up the street from where we live. What it was the? It during the fires, the Thomas fires. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, Whoa, the, the property was abandoned, and it was, oh, my God. He went out there and took pictures of everything when nobody was there. It was just amazing. It's such a post-apocalyptic, like, paradise. Whoa. What? Wow. That's my garden. That's your garden? Oh my <laughs> goodness, you guys. That's incredible. I know, right? Yeah. That's what I can do. And you... So you... you this, is, this is before you hire me. This is after you hire me. Hey, Mark, I need to, I need this, this, this photo a little bit more ground level. Uh, I don't really have... I don't have the budget to, to, uh, to, to hire you to do a good photograph. That's okay. Give me 300 dollars. Bam! Oops. Wow. It's, Interesting. This is, and this isn't what this isn't a reshot, this is just a photoshop. It's incredible. This is me with Photoshop. So your stuff is on Getty Images? Is that what it is? It is uh, not yet. Not yet. I just got approved. All my tax information has gone through. Do you know about the the website where you can interview people that want to be interviewed? The website where people get interviewed where they want to be interviewed? Yeah, I know. It's so meta because it's an inter interview show where they... Do I know the name of that? Yeah, sure. What's do the name of it? I'm, I'm oh, asking. do I know the name of it? Yeah, do you no. know the name sure, No, this is a real thing? I thought you invented it. No, I did Well, no. It's a real thing. It's something where people want to be interviewed? Yes. Like, they basically list themselves like they're available for interviews. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I know, this is the part where I would plug it's that great. thing if they, and it's not, they're not paying me, though, <laughs> I can't tell you what the name of it is now, so it's to be continued. I have this idea, check this out, watch this, let's change the scene, bam, and then, and then hit stop, and bam, then 